Yo guys, Mark Beast Gamer 01 here, and today we're going to be doing my Premier League predictions for the 2016-17 season. So today you're going to find out what I believe the final table will be, and the best player and top goal scorer. So first, first of all, I'm going to show you where uh, I believe all the teams are going to finish, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you my final table, the best player and the top goal scorer. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so first off, 20th we have Burnley. So as you know, Burnley are one of the new promoted clubs. Uh, they have a good striker in Andre Gray, but I don't think he's going to be as good as he was in Championship in the Premier League. He'll score a few goals, but nowhere near as good as in the Championship. Uh, championship. Um, and then their manager, Sean Dyke. Um, he's, a, he's a good manager, but I don't think he's Premier League suited. I think he's more of a championship guy. So, I think Burnley going to have all right season like that. So. And now 19th, we have Hull. Hull again are one of the new promoted clubs. And they have Abel Hernandez up front. He's a good striker, but again, he's, he's like Andre Gray. He's championship. He's not Premier League uh, quality. They, um... Who's their manager? I, I forgot who their manager is, but um, they are not a strong team, I don't think. They're good at their ground, but when it comes to away games, they're just useless. They're just not, not good at all, so they're going to slip it up a lot of points that are going to go away. And at 18, we have Sunderland. So, Sunderland have a, always have a, like, a, I don't know, it's a weird season. They're just, always in the relegation zone and then when it comes to like the final game or final few games they just step it up and they're amazing and then they just survive but I think this season they're going to go down I just don't think they're going to survive they have the foe but he's getting old he's lacking he's going to be lacking in pace so yeah I just think he's going to do that great and now 17th and just surviving Bournemouth So I think Bournemouth will just survive by a few points. Um, but they have got they signed Jordan Ives, who's a good striker, who, uh, a good winger even. When he played for Liverpool, they didn't give him uh, much uh, opportunity. But when he was on the ball, he was very quick and good and skillful. And then they also, they've also got Stanislav, who's a really uh, solid player. Josh King, who I think is their best player. And Callum Wilson up front. He didn't play much last season, but when he does play, he's really good and all that. Now, 16, we have West Brom. West Brom are another funny team. They've got a good defence, McCauley and Dawson are very strong at the back, but then their attack is not great at all. Uh, Berahino was awful last season, and he might leave anyway, but West Brom want to sign a replacement striker for Berahino before they let him go. And Berahino is always in this transfer saga. It, when he gets to transfer deadline day, he's always there. No matter what. So he really wants to leave. Uh, <coughs> but I don't think they're going to have a really good season. Now 15th, Swansea. Swansea, West Brom and Bournemouth are all going to be battling for relegation, but they will all just survive. And they don't have Andre Ayo anymore, who was arguably their best player last season. And they've also lost uh, Gomez to Marseille, I think it is. But they are about they are going to sign Lorente, and I think they're close to signing another striker, some Athletic Madrid guy. I think it's Swansea they're really doing that. But he's meant to be quite good. Lorente is a good striker, but I don't think he's going to do as good as people think he will. Um, it was good in the Spanish league, but Premier League is a lot different. It's um, a lot harder with uh, harder teams. So then, 14th, which I, and I think this this will be the shock team who will do good. Well, for them anyway. Uh, Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough will be very strong at their ground. At home, they're going to be so hard. They're going to cause upsets. They're going to beat some of the top teams. And away, I think they'll beat one or two of the top teams. Uh, a few seasons ago, I think it was, they beat Man City 2-0 at the Etihad. 
which is in the FA Cup, which is really good for them. But I don't know much about Middlesbrough's players and that, but I know they've got Jordan Rhodes up front. He's a really good striker in the Championship, and I think this season he'll get about 10 goals, which will be vital for Middlesbrough and which will be really good for them in their survival hopes. So 13th, we have Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, as you may know, um, are about to sell Balassi to Everton for 30 million, which is really good money for them, but they're losing out on a very big player. Um, Tony Pulis, as their manager, no, not Tony Pulis, it wasn't uh, 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 Alan Pardew, even. <laughs> Tony Pulis is best friend. Um, so, Alan Pardew is, uh, in my opinion, the best England manager we've got at the moment. And I think he should have got the England uh, manager role, but got Sam Uh But Crystal Palace, they're usually really good at their ground, but I think this season they won't do so good at their ground. And I think they'll be um, struggling against the likes of West Brom, Middlesbrough, just not, not doing that well. And now 12th, we have Stoke. Stoke. Uh, have a really good attack on Atovic, Bojan and Shaqiri. On Atovic, I think he's the best out of them. He's, go he's good in all attributes. But then I think they lack in defence. Their defence it it's alright, but it's nowhere near as good as their attack. You can't compare it. Stoke um, are really good at their ground, and as you know, they always beat Arsenal at their ground, but we don't really want to mention that too much. <laughs> But um, they're really strong on their ground. When it comes to away games, they're not the best. But when it comes, it, it's just so hard to beat them on their ground. Now, 11th, we have Watford. Watford are a strong team. It's hard to beat them on their ground, again. They signed a player called Isaac Seth. I don't know much about him at all. But he's meant to be quite good, apparently. So we'll see how he does. And they still have the strong attack force of Igalo and Dini. I think Dini won't do too well this season. But I think Igalo will do well throughout the season and be one of the top goal scorers in the Premier League, I think. I think he's a really solid player. And I got him in my dream team, actually. <laughs> and now 10th, getting into the top half of the table, we have Everton. So... As you may know, Everton have a new manager in Ronald Koeman, a very solid manager. And they also have signed Ashley Williams from Swansea, who's a really good defender. And I think he would have suited Arsenal. Oh well. But he lacks in pace and he's getting old a bit, but he's still good. And they are about San Balassi, as I said earlier on, 30 million from Crystal Palace. He's a really good winger. They will um, do great in their attack. And they still have Lukaku up front. But Chelsea are looking and signing it for like, I think it's near 60 million, which is loads of money. But Everton really want to keep hold of him. He's a really good striker. And if they lose him as well as John Stones, they're going to struggle. And now ninth, we have Southampton. Southampton, they are a good team, but I don't think they're going to do as good as they usually do uh, this season. They have lost Pella to the Chinese club, they've lost Mane to Liverpool, two very good players, and they've also lost their best, arguably their best manager they've ever had, Ronald Koeman to Everton. So, I just don't think they're going to do too well, and Fonte could also be going to Everton, I've heard, with him and Ashley Williams at the back. But if they, if they lose him as well, I think they're going to do even worse. But at the moment they haven't, so I've put them nine. And I still think they're going to do good at their ground, but when it comes to away games, I think they're going to struggle badly. Now, eighth, we have West Ham. So West Ham were very solid last season. They were really good at the start of the season, and then up to Christmas, up to Christmas they were good. And then after Christmas they slowly dropped, and they finished. I think I think they finished eighth actually. Where I've put them now. I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm not too sure where they finished actually. Uh, but yeah. They still had a very good finish. And they've got a new ground, Olympic Park. Really good ground, really nice. I think that will inspire them to do quite good. Um, and they've also sent Andre Ayew for about 20 million from Swansea. So, and he's a very good attacker. 
and they still have Payet, who's just amazing, and what's his name? Antonio, really good young player. So yeah, I think they'll finish eighth. So seventh, we have the champions, Leicester. Leicester had just, uh, I don't know, I don't even have to explain their season last season. It's just amazing, just out of this world. Uh, but this season, I don't think they'll do as well. I don't think they can ever top that. But seventh will still be seen as a success for Leicester because Leicester are not meant to finish really high. They're just not. <laughs> but they still have Vardy just out from Arsenal. <laughs> uh, just because uh, hanged on from him because Arsenal were looking to sign him. And Mares, I think, will still probably stay. And they have lost Kante, one of their main three players. But they still got a really good team, signing Musa and a lot of other players. So sixth, we have Liverpool. Liverpool are um, they're, they're a good team, but they always slip up to the easier teams. They do really well against the stronger teams. But then when it comes to easy to they just usually draw or just like just lose. Um, they signed Mane, really good player. And they still have Coutinho who is their best player. And Firmino, who's a really good player. So their attack is amazing. They might lack a bit in defence. I think they're still looking to just sign a centre back. They do have Matip, who's alright. Um, I don't really know if he's too good, but yeah. And now fifth, uh, we have Spurs. So Spurs um, had a really good season last season, finishing third. Below Arsenal again, they had to say that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think this season they're not going to do as well. They still have more or less the same players, but I just don't think they'll be able to um, keep up with the likes of Chelsea, Van Nuyen, and City, Arsenal. I think mean, them teams are going to be really strong this season, and Spurs would just miss out on Champions League. They still have an alright season, but not as good as last season. Now, fourth, getting into Champions League places, we have Chelsea. So, Chelsea, as you know, had a terrible season last season, and it's just it was just a hard time for them. Being one point, they were like 17, which is really bad. Now, they have uh, a new manager, Antonio Cante. Conte even. Uh, they do have Kante <laughs> and they have Batshuayi up front with Costa, I think they're probably going to play two up front. Batshuayi has uh, got really good pace and is young uh, so I think it's going to do really good for Chelsea. Next in third we have Manchester United. So Man U have been really good this transfer window let's just say. He signs Latan, Mkhitaryan, Bailey, and Pogba. <laughs> um, so Jose Mourinho, the new manager, has gone all out to try and get them to win the league. But I don't think they're going to win the league. Still get Champions League, which will be a success for them because they haven't finished in Champions League places for about three years now, I think it is. Uh, they did win the FA Cup last season, but it wasn't good enough for them. And they do have a really solid team. I think this season they'll get third, and then the season after, I think they'll probably win the league, to be honest with you. It's going to be really good uh, the season after, I think. And our second place, we have Manchester City. So Man City have a new manager, Pep Guardiola, who has done well throughout many leagues, uh, including Barcelona and Bayern Munich. And they also have signed a few more players likes of Gundogan, who's a really good player for Dortmund, and they're still looking to sign more players, which is, they, they, they've spent so much money on these young players, like Gabriel Jesus as well, um, it's just crazy, but I think they're going to have a really good season, uh, a lot better than last season, because they finished fourth last season, and they're going to really push uh, the team that I put first, as you probably know who they are, they're going to really, really, really push them for the title. And it's going to be so close between them. It's going to be amazing. And now first place, Arsenal. So, uh, as you know, um, I do support Arsenal, but I'm not being biased or anything. I think this season is going to be famous last season. 
I do think that. And I think this, I think he's gonna uh, sign a few more players. I think we're gonna sign Mustafi. We're in like advanced talks with him now. And I still think we're gonna sign Lacazette. And them two players would be a great addition to the squad. I know we have had uh, defensive problems lately. Gabriel Matasak getting injured. But uh, that Rob Holden guy, is, he's really good. He was really good in the friendly. That, that's friendly. But we've also signed Xhaka. Really good player. And I think Wenger is going to really, 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 really push the team this season. And it's going to make them work so hard. And I think that's just going to pay out. And we're going to, I think we're going to win the league. And maybe another trophy. Probably not. But maybe. But I don't think so. Um, I think we're going to get first. I'm not being biased. Well, maybe a bit. But I think Wenger's last season is going to do really good. Okay then guys, so they, they were the team, and now as you can see, that is the final table. So, all in order, 20th to 1st. And, um, now we move on to who I think the best player is going to be. And I think the best player of the season, PFA player, will be Aguero. I think Aguero is, is going to do amazing this season. He's going to score a lot of goals around, I, I'm not sure where uh, around, but a lot of goals. He's gonna get, oh, excuse me. He's gonna get a, a lot of important assists for the team, and he's gonna just play amazing, I think. And top goal scorer um, will also be Aguero. I think Aguero is gonna. Ah, uh, wait. Let, let me have a think. I think Aguero will score around 27, 28 goals a season. A really high amount of goals. Beat the next opposition by about four or five goals. I think Agu this is going to be Aguero's best season and it's going to um, make Man City just do really well this, uh, this season. Get second to Arsenal but really push them well. So I think Aguero is going to be the best player this season. So thank you for watching my video guys about the Premier League predictions and who I think is going to win the league and best player, top goal scorer, where everyone's going to finish basically. <laughs> uh, so please like, subscribe and peace.